Alright, so I'm going to review all of these sweets that I bought from Treasure Island Sweets and I'm really looking forward to a lot of these, especially the Lucky Tires, which are cinnamon flavour. So we've got Lucky Tires, Tubble Gum, which is tutti fruity flavour, Bone Breaker Candy, which is fruit flavoured, Cola Fizz Balls, Honey Licorice and Banana Licorice Stripes. So. Let's start off with the uh, banana licorice stripes. So this is Finnish licorice and I've never had uh, banana flavoured licorice before. So there's one of them there. So I'm guessing the, the uh, yellow bits will be banana flavoured. And I'm not sure what the yellow bits are. Are they licorice themselves? Hmm, not really sure. The texture kind of seems the same, but yeah, let's see what it's like. What can I say? These are really, really good. You get a, a nice, decent banana flavour with the licorice. Banana flavour is kind of tangy. I guess the banana bits, they seem a bit softer and less chewy than the licorice, so not really sure what they're actually made from. But yeah, I'll give these an 8 out of 10. They are pretty damned good. So, now let's take a look at the honey licorice. On Treasure Island Sweets it says that these are made with real honey. So yeah, let's open this. See what they smell like. Oh wow, just a really, really strong really nice smell of honey. You can barely smell any licorice. And so there's one of them. And yeah, let's give it a try. These are really, really good. The um, the texture of them is quite interesting. It's not like regular licorice. It's kind of, it's kind of half like licorice and half like a gummy sweet. And the honey flavour is quite strong. It's quite a lot stronger than the licorice flavour. And a nice tanginess to the flavour. It's kind of like the tanginess seems to be part of the licorice flavour rather than the honey flavour. But yeah, these are really really good. I'm going to give these a 9 out of 10. So let's try these. Oh, I forgot to mention as well this bone breaker candy. It's basically a puzzle at the same time. So I really like the flavour of cinnamon. And these smell really, really nice. A really, really strong aroma of cinnamon coming through the plastic bag. It's not even open or anything like that. And on Treasure Island Sweets, it says that these are from Scotland. They are dusted in a warming cinnamon on the outside with a cinnamon centre that crumbles. So that sounds pretty good. Let's open this. Oh, that just smells really, really nice. And there's one of them. Yep, so let's try it out. Wow, these are unbelievable. They're right, it does, it's, well it's not like it's got a crumbly centre, it's like the whole thing is crumbly. Like the, the consistency, the texture, it's kind of the same throughout the whole thing. I was expecting like the texture of the outside of it to be kind of different when chewing it than the centre by how they explain it. But yeah, these are really, really good. And I'm going to give these a 10 out of 10. Really nice strong cinnamon flavour. Nice texture, interesting texture, kind of, crumble, kind of crumbles. I totally, totally recommend these if you like cinnamon. They are amazing. So, so far, these have been really, really good. Let's try the cola fizz balls next. I love the flavour of cola. Oh, and I forgot to say about the uh, the Lucky Tires. I've actually got this written down and put them in notes. They say that these used to be really popular in the 60s and they used to have 
a little lucky charm inside which sounds really cool but sadly you don't get the lucky charm anymore i guess it's because of like you know because it could be a choking hazard or whatever but it would be so cool if there was a lucky a little lucky charm inside each one of these so a bit of interesting trivia for you there let's slice this open See what that aroma is like. Let's open it more actually. Just kind of a faint, kind of dull blunted cola aroma. Not that great. But yeah, let's uh, let's try one of these. These are really really good. They taste a lot like cola cubes, except they are fizzy. And there's a really nice tanginess to the flavour as well. I'm going to give these a 9 out of 10. You know something, I should have a, I should have all of these out on a plate because then you can see them better. It will look better in the video. I was actually just going to tip several out but then I thought actually it would be a better idea to tip out the whole lot because then you can see, you can get a better idea of how many you get in each packet. I've just realised I didn't get any of these bags of sweets inside paper bags as well like I did with the last order so that's kind of weird well you got a lot in this bag and you can really see the bag is just so dusted with that uh, cinnamon flavour let's check out this bone breaker candy so this is from candy factory bone breaker can you put old Jones bones back together again edible candy puzzle Let's see what it says on the back. Fruit flavour candy pieces. It's not suitable for kids under four years old. Specially produced in China for Crazy Candy Factory. I think Crazy Candy Factory is a UK brand. World of Sweets Limited. Uh, Belfast. Alright, let's open this. Kind of comes in that bag there. And let's see if we can put his bones back together again. So there's all the pieces. I wasn't expecting the candy to be as hard as this. You can tell it's hard by just how it sounds when it when you like hit the pieces together. So actually let's put them together in this coffin. So, got our legs there. That's gonna be the body. Not sure if he's actually gonna fit in the coffin to be honest. That looks like it's his hips. But these legs don't look like they're gonna fit in there. No. Um, you know what, I think this will actually be easier to just put it together on the table. So there's the head. It's better to put it together. It won't fit in properly. No, I think I might actually have the torso the wrong way around. Let's try it that way. It kind of looks upside down now but we'll see if I can now fit the head on yep okay so add the torso upside down let's see um, it's interesting how I'm guessing this piece is meant to go in there but it's not it's not flush with the uh, the body we have them together yeah he wouldn't have actually have fitted into the coffin he's just a little bit too tall for it he would have thought that they would have made it so you can actually fit him inside the coffin when he's assembled 
I'll give you a better look at it. So up how you can see him. Let's see if he moves about much. A little bit. Right, so let's give it a try. It does sound like it's very hard. I'm trying to crunch it, it's very hard as well. It's not bad, it's it's very pleasant, very mild fruit flavour. Um, I'm guessing they're all the same flavour, but let's try a green piece and see if that tastes any different from the, uh, the pink leg that I had just before. It's pretty much the same flavour. There's, there's like a, a really nice kind of cool freshness to the flavour, if you know what I mean. That's pretty good. I think this is something that kids would really like. So, not counting the novelty factor, just going off how it tastes and everything and like the, the texture and stuff. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. But when you add in the novelty factor, I'll give it a 10 out of 10. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Whoops. So I think he's just gone to sleep there. So lastly, let's take a look at this tumble gum. So I'm guessing that's a brand. I don't know what it says though. Lutty or something. Um, tutti fruity flavour bubble gum. And there's the back. So not really anything interesting on the back. There's a lid, so it's got some arrows there as well, going clockwise. So let's unscrew this. Kind of a weird colour. It's not like a, it's not like the kind of pink you would expect. It kind of looks like a kind of a dingy looking pink colour. I think that's the nicest bubblegum flavour I've ever, well, aroma I've ever smelled in my life. Kind of reminds me of the 80s for some reason. But, uh, yeah, let's squirt some of it out onto this lid. It's pretty thick. It's, you've got to really squeeze it to get it out. So there it is. really sticker. So yeah, let's give this a try. It's a really nice flavour but it's quickly, like the consistency is quickly changed to like a, a very thin consistency. It's not thick like regular bubblegum but as I'm chewing it it's actually starting to get thicker now. The texture of the consistency it's getting more and more like regular bubblegum. It tastes pretty nice. It doesn't taste as good as it smells but it does taste pretty nice. And you know something? I'm really sure that this is how the gum tasted, which you would get with uh, Garbage Pail Kids stickers. I'm sure of it. It'd be like a, a pink, like thin, rectangular slab of gum that you get with the stickers. But yeah, that's pretty good. Flavour's starting to go away now. There's not much flavour left now in the gum. But it lasted for a while. Alright, so let's have a quick recap. So, we have the Lucky Tatties, which are really, really nice. Crumbly, lots of flavour. Honey licorice, really, really nice. Strong flavour of honey. Banana licorice, pretty damn good. Cola Fizz Balls, again, pretty good. The, uh, the Skeleton Candy. Cool Novity, tastes pretty good. Tubble Gum, again, cool Novity, and it tastes pretty good. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching.